Hello class, I wanted to give you a quick video on uh, the ratio assignments. Uh, it is here in iLearn where you're basically completing a, uh, a kind of a template to calculate the ratios for you. Uh, for this assignment, it needs to be done on your own, your own work, own typing. Start with a blank Excel workbook and you're going to compute the uh, following ratios. I'm going to go ahead and just copy these ratios over into Excel here. Let's see how that Kyle. Actually, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to paste special text into here just to get the different ratios. And so here are the ratios Control B, um, center. That's the title of the ratio. You're going to need to type in a brief description. Center. Let me uh, just do a quick review. Um, and then this is going to be the actual dashboard, so I'm going to rename this the dashboard. Dashboard, if I can type correctly. And then I'm going to have a calculation sheet. If I can type that one, but that's okay. And then I'm going to have a uh, data sheet. So the data sheet I'm actually going to get from the uh, CapSim portal. There's a couple different areas to uh, grab it. I'm just going to grab uh, the balance sheet right here. And just paste it into the data sheet. Nope, didn't look good. Undo, so I'm going to need to paste special text. Okay, so now I've got the typical balance sheet right here. And I will recopy this over now. The very first one is ratio, leverage. Leverage is total assets divided by total equity. Um, ideal spot is you know 1.8 to 2.8 in the simulation, something like that. Okay, so now I've got the description and I've got the amount. Now I can't remember the instructions here, what it says. Uh, template first tab, the dashboard drives, no, drive the answers from the second tab. Okay, so on the second tab here, what I'm going to do in order to calculate um, leverage, I'm going to need total assets. I'm also going to need total equity. And I'm going to pull it from the data tab over here. Total assets is right here. And I hit plus again, total equity is right here. And then I can even type in leverage right here. And it's going to be total assets divided by total equity. It's got the dollar sign there. I want a 2.0. And then I come over here to my dashboard, and now it's going to link to this one right here, 2.0. Now the next ratio is return on equity which is net income divided by equity or total equity you know higher the better you can tell that I'm not a very good typer and so I already have the equity but I need net income or something so I'm going to come over here to uh, my copy of my annual report I'm just gonna, you know, I'll just copy the whole thing and see how it turns out. The data area right down here. Paste special text. Okay, so that's probably gonna be okay like that if I do it every time. Um, and I'm gonna come over here and just type in net income. My net income is actually right over here on the data tab, right here, net profit. So as long as I copy the same way every time, and I'm going to actually come over here and do the formula in this cell. I'll do this uh, net income divided by total equity. So uh, now I know I want that as a percentage. So 17.6%. Uh, then I'm actually going to uh, take off the grid lines. I'm going to do a little bit of cosmetic stuff. You can do whatever you'd like, but. Um, let's see here, just to, oh, let me do it this way. I'm going to 
Pacific border. So something like that. So I've got the uh, dashboard readout or ratio dashboard. Um, let's see the description. Here's the amount. It's coming from the calculation tab, which comes from the data tab. So now each year, as I re-update, or I could go back and I could actually grab. Okay, uh, how was it in the round three? You know, I can go back to my round three. Uh, information and I can copy and paste it. And if I do the same thing every year, and I come over here to uh, my book two, down to the income statement right here. If I paste special, it should just copy it right over and it should be referencing the same cell. Now I know I haven't done the equity for the balance sheet yet, but in any event, you can see that my uh, ratio has changed. So I'm going to undo this. Now it's back to 2018 income statement, and now my dashboard shows the, the real amount. In any event, that's why you have the data tab over here, so you can copy and paste data over it. The calculations will pull from the same cells on the data tab. And then uh, your dashboard is just a summary of where the information is coming from. Hopefully you'll be able to fill out that table, make it look nice, be creative with it, do your own style. Uh, try to make it look as professional as possible. It's due Saturday night at midnight. And we will be going over in class. Now, actually, I'm going to change the due date. It was due Saturday night at midnight, but uh, I think in one of my sections I had it, uh, the due date was showing up Monday morning before class. That'll be fine. You just have to make sure you turn in this, submit it Monday morning before class. Uh, but your round, your cap sim rounds, round five, is still due Saturday night at midnight. So good luck, and I'll see you guys in class on Monday.